is nicknamed Tom Terrific and the franchise. Tom Seaver, the famed pitcher with the champion 1969 Miracle Mets, now taking on perhaps the toughest opponent in his 74 years, a diagnosis of dementia. When I heard it today, it was, it was, it was a little bit of a shock, but, but I also understood. Seaver's former teammate, Art Shamsky, says when he met Seaver about a year and a half ago to work on the soon-to-be-released book, After the Miracle, Shamsky knew then something was off. Hopefully he'll, he'll be able to deal with it, or the family will be able to deal with it. And I hate to use the word was because I feel like it still is. Mm -hmm. But Tom was a very, very special person. The Seaver family saying in a statement that the family is deeply appreciative of those who have supported Tom throughout his career on and off the field and who do so now by honoring his request for privacy. They say Seaver will continue to work on his beloved winery at his California home, but his health will prevent him from attending the 50th anniversary of the Miracle Met celebration in June. So the team is planning to honor the three-time Cy Young Award winner and other tributes that will include his family. For Mets fans like Justin Cabrera, who named his puppy Seaver after his baseball hero, news of his illness is a shock. Very difficult for us to, you know, be hearing this news now about about our longtime favorite. It's very sad. He's such a great baseball player. It's hard to argue who's, who would be uh, better than him and what he meant to the team and the franchise and the city. Until 2016, Seaver held the highest vote percentage for Hall of Fame induction, 98.84%. His 20-year career included three Cy Young Awards, 12 All-Star Game appearances, and that 1969 World Series win. Mary and Chris? The best. They need to have a statue erected at a city field for him, that's for sure.